The app that I like to share today is Quad Math. The app that solves mathematics solutions. So as you can see here, I have this expression that I need to select one of these answers as I given the multiple choice for this um, for these um, expressions. So the thing that you can do is to take the picture of your math solution and then you crop the picture because you don't know which is the best answer in these four given to you okay then use the uh, description law to simplify the following expression as far as possible so you crop the the question ensure that there is no other um, information except the question and then you click ok So it's come up, it's trying to calculate. So it's telling you that the answer is negative 14x minus 2. And then it's just giving you the step by step on how is it come up with this answer. Ne? Okay, if I can go back. The negative 4x minus 2 is my, in this multiple choice, is my second one. So it means my answer will be number two ne? okay let me give another example this is another example same thing again take the picture and then crop and then click ok Okay, it says the answer is 12a to the power of 11 to the and uh, b to the power of 4. And then it shows the steps on how it came up with this answer. Ne? It's uh, even um, indicates that show more steps, one more step. So you can, yeah, so these are all the steps until the answer says 12 a to the power 11 b to the power 4 if i can go back to show you where is that in my question paper so let me scroll down 12 a to the power 11 b to the power 4 was um the first one so my answer will be number one yes so my answer will be number one again so let me show the last one solve the equation 2 in okay let me just take the picture of this one okay as well okay and then you crop you can just move um where for the this screen and then click okay so it's showing that y is equal to 34 and these are the steps y is equal to 34 and if i go back in my multiple choice y is equal to 34 so my answer will be number three so this is how this app solve different equations for mathematics Okay, thank you.